This is how to put your iPhone into recovery mode if you're having issues or if you need to downgrade from an iOS beta. I'm Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. I'm gonna walk you through what you need to do. This will vary from model to model, but if you're on the iPhone 8 or newer, this is how you put your iPhone into recovery mode. The first thing you're gonna do is plug it into your computer with a lightning cable. So I have it connected directly to my MacBook Pro. You can do this on Windows as well. I'm gonna push volume up, volume down, and then I'm gonna push and hold the power button over here on the side. And I'm gonna keep holding that until my phone restarts. And then once my phone restarts, I'm gonna to continue to hold. As I keep holding it, my iPhone will reboot and then I'll see a message just like this with the iPhone restore and then the iTunes logo and plug into a computer. Now I'm already plugged into my computer. So what I can do is I can go over there and I'm gonna be able to complete the restore. So now we see a message on the screen telling us that there's a problem with the iPhone, iPhone, which is the iPhone name that requires an update or restore. So instead of clicking update, you're gonna go ahead and click restore and that's going to download the latest publicly available version of iOS 12. That might be iOS 12.3.1. 12.4 or maybe something a little bit later depending on when you're looking at this video and it's going to wipe your phone install that and then you'll be able to restore from a backup that whole process will take a little bit of time it could take 30 to 60 minutes depending on all the factors involved including downloading and then installing it so what you're going to go ahead and do is wait for that to happen don't unplug just wait let it go let it do its thing your phone may reboot a few times, but eventually it's going to come up and you're going to be able to go ahead and start using your phone on the publicly available version of iOS 12. Now, like I said, this can solve iOS problems. If your phone is stuck, you might have to do a restore like this. Or if you're going to downgrade from an iOS beta to a publicly available version of iOS, this will also help you with that. Thanks for joining me to learn how to put your iPhone into restore mode, sometimes called recovery mode or often DFU mode. If you found this video useful, you can hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let us know any questions or issues you have with recovery mode on your iPhone.